Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Donna Thiesel, and I'm your host of The Edge. You can find us on IC Radio. We're your source for news and entertainment. You can also find us on television, channel 182, on charter communications, and syndicated worldwide on Abundant TV, which is found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Thank you so much for watching. I know you could be doing anything else, but you're listening to us, and you're watching us, and we definitely appreciate that. We're trying to get information out there for you, um, you know, lot Lots of um, great um, items that are all natural you can actually use and save quite a bit of money and that's what we're all about too helping you out with that budget so I've got a product for you I want to show you and this is castor oil now it's hard to see on the green screen kind of doing it there we go is that a little bit better so this is castor oil it's called 217 castor and you can find it at amazon.com you'll follow that link right there you'll get a special deal it's a much bigger bottle than this it's an eight ounce bottle for only 9.99 you got to follow that link right there it's right there on the bottom and uh and you'll Again, you'll be getting a good deal. We're going to talk about castor oil and what's it good for. Uh, how many people do you know that their hands get kind of rough? I, I know mine do in the summertime because I've got my hands in everything. I'm out in the garden and I'm working with, you know, wood and I'm just, you know, and I'm a metal worker, so I do all that stuff too. And my hands have a tendency to be very, very dry, even though my skin is naturally oily. One product you can use is castor oil and let me show you something it's not what you think you would think it would be so greasy you'll never get all the grease off of your hands just wanted to show you first of all this is my iPad right here and I'm going to kind of move it around like this so you can see it's clean there are no fingerprints on it so what I'm going to do I'll show you what I'm talking about and it doesn't take a whole lot of it so you'll just kind of um, you can use a suction cup, whatever you want to do. I just use it. This is my bottle, and I only I don't use it for cooking. I use this only for skincare. So this is what I'll do. Okay, you can see I've got some. See the oil in this right there on my hand. Watch what happens. Not oily at all. Okay, it gets down into your skin. I'm talking it just melts down into the skin so if you have really really dry hands your fingernails are brittle um, manicurists love castor oil because they use of course they have a little cuticle stick they use I just use my fingers and while I've got this castor oil I'm going ahead and just pull those those cuticles down like that and it'll help the growth of your fingers your fingernails okay so I'm going to give you 30 outstanding castor oil uses and the benefits you're gonna love this okay so I found this on uh, this website it's one a g o r a health.com I'll spell that for you o n e a g o r a health.com and you'll find this really good information right here and again just the mention of the word castor oil and some of us will kind of start making a little face because you remember your grandmother used to give you a tablespoon of this to kind of help you you know go to the restroom <laughs> so a lot of us are just you know you, you just do this when you think about castor oil and it is good for your digestive system but I'm going to tell you about ways you can use it on your hands on your face help with the eyebrow growth you know as you get older sometimes your eyebrows you know the hair kind of comes out it'll help grow those back too okay again go to amazon.com and find it on sale and this is a real good now there's some for some reason are maybe a little thicker than others I like this it's thick but it just goes into your skin I haven't tried a brand that I like better than this Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about Centuries Healthcare Providers and Folk 
healers have been using castor oil because of the many benefits it provides. Many think that the ancient Egyptians were the first to discover the many castor oil uses and the benefits of using castor oil. In fact, many believe that Cleopatra used the pale yellow liquid to brighten the whites of her eyes. I don't know how you do that, but let's see if we can find some info about that in this article. Um, castor oil is simple to use and isn't harsh on your skin, making it an excellent remedy for many different elements. Okay, and again, my hands are not feeling oily. And you saw how much I put on there. So what I'm going to do is touch this, okay? I'm touching all over this iPad. This would be a true tale. Look, no fingerprints. And you saw how I put this on my skin. I put it on my hands. Okay, let's talk about the oil, castor oil uses. You've got skin conditions, infections, constipation relief, immune system support, anti-inflammatory agent, and also this works as a stimulant. So let's go ahead and get started talking about it. Castor oil has traditionally been used as a remedy for treating various skin conditions and infections. Relieving constipation, increasing the health of hair. However, recent studies have shown that castor oil can be used to support the immune system and an anti-inflammatory agent and stimulant. So you can use castor oil a couple different ways. Apply it directly to the skin like I just did at the start of the show. Use it through a castor oil pack or mix it with other oils as a topical remedy. I like it all by itself. Um, but orally, add it to milk or lukewarm water um, or taken in the form of a supplement. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. Let's talk about, um, now that's topical, let's talk about the oral uses for castor oil. Relieves constipation, clean out intestines before surgery, induction of labor. Okay, so let's talk about natural arthritis remedy. Castor oil's anti-inflammatory properties make it an excellent massage oil for arthritic joints, sore muscles, and inflammations of your nerves. Now, this oil contains um, possess the ability to boost anti-inflammatory properties within the body and is considered a safe remedy for arthritis pain. There are various ways you can use castor oil to treat arthritis pain. Now, this is what they tell you to do. Okay, um, again, this is O-N-E-A-G-O-R-A health.com. Take a piece of unbleached cotton flannel fabric and fold it in to create three to four layers. You want to soak it in castor oil and place it over the affected joints. Um, wrap the cloth with saran wrap and put a heating pad or hot water bottle over that area. <coughs> Leave it on for at least 45 minutes and do this once a day to reduce pain and inflammation of your joints. Now the saran wrap will prevent the healing pad or the heating pad or water bottle from getting oily. So that's why you're using that. Now reuse the pads by placing them in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them again. And so that just kind of keeps everything together. Now take it orally by adding a tablespoon of castor oil to your favorite beverage and put it in coffee or tea or whatever. And also, um, massage the warm castor oil. Uh, let's see. Uh, massage warm castor oil to the affected joints to promote proper absorption. Massage into the skin before you go to bed and leave it on overnight. Now, to avoid scalding the skin, make sure the castor oil is not too hot when you're applying it to the affected area. When treating severe arthritis pain, add a pinch of ginger powder to the boiling glass of water. Now once the water has cooled, add two tablespoons of castor oil. Just be sure to mix the concoction well before drinking it, okay? The remedy works best when you drink it when you first wake up or right before you go to bed. Maybe you don't have a lot of food in your tummy. Now, if you dislike the taste of castor oil, take a castor oil supplement or peel. However, this won't be as useful as the pure castor oil. Let me tell you the problem I've got with a capsule is the capsules are covered with petroleum. Did you know that? Yeah, that's not a natural thing. I'd rather just suck it up and go ahead and take the supplement all by the bottle. Okay, now, getting rid of stretch marks. 
Stretch marks are often caused by pregnancy and rapid weight gain, but can also be a result of aging, hormonal imbalance, sudden weight loss, and swelling. Castor oil is known to be one of the best treatments for a variety of, con of skin conditions. Its rich contents and various fatty acids makes it an excellent moisturizer and effective treatment for getting rid of unsightly stretch marks. I've started using it under my neck and I'll give you pro progress reports and let you know it's under the chin area. You know, that's the first part that starts aging in your skin. So I'll keep you updated on how that works. Okay, now using your fingers, massage enough castor oil over the stretch marks to cover the entire affected area. For added moisture, mix two tablespoons of coconut or almond oil with one tablespoon of castor oil. Now you need to mix this up really well too. Avoid applying the treatment to the broken skin. Use a thin cotton cloth to cover the area. Leave the cloth on the area for about 15 to 20 minutes to help ensure that the oil penetrates deeply. Covering the oil with a heating pad or hot water bottle will speed up the results. Repeat this process on a regular basis to see a significant reduction in the appearance of your stretch marks. Now with everything, it takes a little bit of time. It's not going to happen overnight, but you got to make a habit of doing this, okay? Now, cast your oil for treating acne. You would think treating acne isn't acne because of oily skin. Listen to this. The common skin condition acne is a result of impurities accumulating on your pores causing the skin to become irritate, irritated and inflamed. Many of the acne remedies on the market today contain benzoyl peroxide, which tends to dry out the skin, and you don't want that. Castor oil, similar to using neem oil, you've heard about neem oil, is a natural resource that will draw out dirt, dead skin cells, excess oils, and bacteria without drying out your skin. Okay, now place a, bowl, a bowl of boiling water on a stable surface, surface and grab a towel. Holding the towel over your head, lean over the bowl of water. Now remember, this is boiling water, okay, and you're going to create a steam coming up to your face. Keep your face over the bowl for several minutes. Take a washcloth and moisten it with warm water and apply a small, dime-sized amount of castor oil to the cloth. It won't take much. Um, I like to apply it directly on my skin. Do it any way you want to, whatever's good for you. Um, gently rub the affected oil with the washcloth. Use small circular motions when applying that castor oil to the area and leave the castor oil on your skin overnight. It works wonders. Now when you wake up, remove the castor oil using a damp cloth to wipe away the oil. Using cold water, splash your face several times. Cold water will shrink the pores while warm water opens up the pores. Pat your skin dry and use a facial cleanser to clean away the remaining castor oil. Now for best results, repeat these steps on a daily basis between 10 and 14 days. You can use castor oil to prevent acne by following this process just a couple of times a week. Deep facial cleanser. Let's talk about this. Along with treating your acne, you can use castor oil as a deep facial cleanser. Unlike the harsh chemicals and over-the-counter prescription facial cleansers that dry out your skin, using castor oil as a deep cleanser will get rid of pimples fast, deep clean your skin of dirt, bacteria, dead skin cells, and excess oils while keeping your skin soft, supple, and flawless. Directions. What you'll do is use a generous amount of the oil, blend in the palm of your hand, and then rub them together to warm up the oil. So you're using your, your hands to do that. Using slow, firm motions across the skin, massage the oil into your face, paying particular attention to any areas that could be a problem. When your pores are thoroughly saturated, take a clean washcloth and soak it in hot water. Place the washcloth over your face. Leave it on until it's become kind of cool to the touch. Gently wipe your face with the washcloth, then rinse it in hot running water. Repeat these steps several times to thoroughly clean your face. Be sure not to scrub your face hard during the final step of this process. A good friend of mine is an esthetician, 
And so she has talked to me several times about exfoliating your skin. She's almost 80 years old, does not look anywhere near her age. She's out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And she just swears by exfoliating your skin. She said, if you don't exfoliate your face skin, what people think are wrinkles are not wrinkles. It's just dead skin cells gathering up together, creating creases on your face. She's never had a facelift and looks awesome. I mean, she's just absolutely beautiful. Now, eliminating fine lines and wrinkles. I think that's probably what all of you came here to listen to, okay? Castor oil is great for reducing fine lines and wrinkles because it penetrates deep into your skin, which stimulates the production of lecithin and collagen. These two components in the skin are responsible um, for keeping your skin tight. Um, Castor oil's emollient properties allow the skin to quickly absorb it, keeping your face hydrated and plump, which is also important in reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. To ensure you get the most out of the castor oil treatments, follow these steps. Now, this is really cool about castor oil, okay? You're only using castor oil. You're using only this, and this, which means it's all natural, all natural product, and it's not fussy. You know what I mean? You're not having to like add this, a teaspoon of that, a tablespoon of that, nothing like that. You're just using the oil. And again, now I have oily skin still. It's 63. I'm about to be 64. So I still have oily skin and I actually can use this on my face. Now, for eliminating fine lines and wrinkles, let me tell you what you do. Okay, you clean your face with your regular facial cleanser and then rinse off with cold water. Remember, we're, we're closing the pores when we do that. Okay, using a towel, pat your skin dry. Remove any traces of the cleanser with a cotton ball soaked in toner. You can use um, anything like a natural product. Um, I mean, just, you can use like alcohol if you want to, but alcohol just kind of, you know, witch hazel is the best thing to use. Use a cotton ball. Make sure you get all of your makeup off of your face. If you've been working out in the sun like we do, you know, and your skin will get really, really dirty. It's just from the natural sweat glands that are on your face. Just make sure you've got it properly cleansed. And again, toner is extremely important. Witch hazel, you can also find that at Amazon. You can type in, and it's a real good price right now, too. And um, again, just a little dab is going to do you. But anyway, you're getting all the oils off, you're getting all the, the soap off of your face, and it's extremely important. You can use rose water if you'd like to do that as well. Allow the toner to dry, and then pour a small amount of castor oil into the palm of your hand, rubbing hands together to warm up the oil. Again, just like we did previously. Now, gently massage the oil into your face using small circular motions. Repeat the process every day. For maximum benefits, apply the oil to your face at night before going to bed. That's what I like to do anyway. Don't forget that neck area. Remember, I'm doing that right now. I'm going to keep you updated just how that works out. Okay, now I want to talk to you about using castor oil for hair growth. When you get older, it's like hair leaves the places you want it to stay, and then it develops in areas you don't want it to develop in. Castor oil, <laughs> and specifically... This castor oil right here, again, that's 217 castor. If you'll click that link right there or type that in, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And again, it's on sale for 8 ounces, $9.99. Apply castor oil has become a popular treatment for growing healthier, thicker hair. When regularly used on the roots, it can increase hair growth. Reduce hair damage from products and styling, hydrate hair, make hair shinier and fuller, prevent dry scalp, and improve the overall health of your hair. When you apply it to the ends of your hair, the castor oil can help reduce fizz, frizz, and repair split ends. Follow the steps below to help strengthen and grow your hair. Okay, now look, I'm not even afraid to touch my hair after putting this on my, on my hands. Look. And it's going to add a shininess to your hair as well. In fact, I'll demonstrate it again. I don't mind showing you. Everybody wants shiny hair, right? When you get older, your skin is not quite, your hair is not quite. It seems like your skin gets duller, and so does your hair. So let me show you something. Okay. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I love the way it feels on my hands. 
I mean, it's so, and it's not a greasy feel. You would think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll grab some hair. And look at this. And look, it's not leaving it limp either. The back here. It just gives it a really pretty shine without being oily. See what I'm talking about? People ask me all the time what I do for my hair. I don't do a lot. I just I use the cheapest shampoos, whatever's on sale. And I'll do a final wash. Okay, I'll wash my hair and then I will apply some need to put some conditioner on your hair as well. Then I'll do a final rinse with uh with um well I use a couple of different things. I really like to use white vinegar. Now if you use the color vinegar it's gonna add kind of a, a red tinge to your kind of a tone, red tone to your hair. But if you use just the cheap white vinegar, just the cheap stuff and and do the fine after you do your final rinse, after you do your conditioner, what that does is takes out all the traces of the shampoo and the hair conditioner. And that's what it does. And then you can touch up just on the ends if you want to. If you have really oily, I still have oily hair too. And just right there on the ends. And look at the shine it gives. I spend hardly anything. This is a 4 ounce bottle. What they're going to sell for $9.99 is an 8 ounce bottle. Use such a small amount of it. This is going to last you several months. Even the way I use it. Okay, apply the castor oil to the scalp and the roots using your fingertips. Make sure to distribute it on your scalp evenly, okay? That's important. Try to avoid getting the oil into the strands of your hair. Due to its thickness, it can be difficult to remove. Just a little, little tiny layer, okay? Cover your hair with a plastic shower cap and wrap the head, your head with a towel. Allow the oil to remain on your hair for at least 15 minutes. For best results, leave in overnight. To remove the castor oil, make sure you wash your hair thoroughly with shampoo. For best results, repeat the process every week for six to eight weeks. Okay, now number seven, I want to talk to you about relieving constipation. Castor oil is a popular way to, re to relieve constipation. The various components of the natural, remember it's natural, Constipation Remedy Act is a powerful laxative stimulating both the small and large intestines and purging the the um, the walls allowing impacted fecal matter to move through the, col the colon. The fatty acids in the Castor oil will also work to prevent liquid from being absorbed by the intestinal tract, helping the bowel to retain its moisture, which allows it to pass through um, easier. So here's what you do. This is the recipe. Okay, you want 30 to 60 grams of castor oil, um, about a quarter tablespoon or a teaspoon of that, lukewarm milk or water, a glass Ginger is optional. Ginger is so good for you. It's good for the inside and the outside. Now what you'll do is add the castor oil to the glass of lukewarm water. Remember, it's not going to take a lot of it. And then you'll substitute a glass of lukewarm water if you don't like milk. Okay, drink the entire glass. Add some ginger to the concoction if you find the smell too strong. In about an hour, you'll be able to feel the effects of the castor oil. Again, this is an all-natural remedy. We want to make it as natural as possible. Okay, improving your immune function. Using castor oil on a regular basis is believed to improve various immune system functions, including drainage, maybe the gland health, and the blood flow. Um, blood flow is a type of white cell, uh, blood cell found in the body's immune system, attack perceived threat to the bodies and outside invaders like toxins and bacteria. The use of castor oil helps the body produce the right levels of lymphocytes, which are stored and released in the tissue from the lymph nodes and also your gland and tissue to the small intestine. Apply castor oil packs to your abdominal area to increase the body's absorption of the oil. You know, we've heard this said before. In school, we were always taught your skin is the largest organ of your body. A lot of folks forget about that. If you'll take good care of your skin, the rest of the body is going to follow suit. So whatever you intake and whatever you put topical on your body has a lot to do with your 
with your whole health. Treating ringworm. We're going to go into a commercial break after this. A relatively common skin condition, ringworm, is caused by a fungus and grows in the ring-shaped red rash. Now, studies have proven that nearly 20% of the population has suffered from ringworm at least once in their lifetime. While it can be a pain to deal with, castor oil is an excellent treatment for ringworm. This, uh, the acid that is found in the castor oil acts as an antifungal agent that kills the infection. Okay, we're going to go ahead and head out to a commercial break, and we're going to be right back in just a few minutes with more remedies for castor oil. At La Mon's Mexican Restaurant, located in Henniger, Alabama, and voted Best Mexican Restaurant of DeKalb County, Alabama 2020, we're here to serve you with authentic Mexican cuisine. Order easily online by going to LamonesMex.com or call 256-657-3999 to place your order. We're open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Whether you're celebrating a cozy date night for two or a celebration for a crowd, at Le Mans, you'll love our atmosphere and friendly servers. Thank you for dining with Le Mans Mexican Restaurant. Let Rhonda at Rhonda's Elite Tax LLC take the burden off you for all your tax needs. I know because Rhonda has been taking care of my business since 2013. I feel Rhonda works for me because she knows the direct questions to ask to better benefit my unique business in order for me to get back the biggest refund possible. Rhonda is an ongoing student and she knows tax laws are in a constant change every year. Call 256-281-9903 for an appointment to take the dread out of getting your taxes done. Rhonda is located at 11968 U.S. Highway 431 in Boaz. Again, that number is 256-281-9903. And let Rhonda's Elite Tax LLC champion your personal and business taxes. Mike Lindell and my employees and I want to thank each and every one of you for your continued support. With everything going on right now, your rest is so important. That's why we're having the biggest my pillow sale ever. Not only are my bed pillows as low as $19.98, but you can get the best body pillows ever. Regular $89.98, now only $29.98. Take your rest on the go with our Roll and Go Anywhere My Pillows for only $14.98. And we have our new couch and accent pillows. They aren't just for looks. They have My Pillows patented adjustable fill that gives you that amazing My Pillow comfort. In this economy, you get the best gifts ever for the best prices ever. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code and you get deep discounts on body, couch, bolster pillows, and so much more, including my original bed pillows for as low as $19.98. Please order now while quantities last. Jeff McCurdy of the McCurdy Law Firm has been a public service of this area for over 10 years. McCurdy, a member of the Henniger City Council, serves as prosecutor for the town of Sylvania and was named public defender for the city of Rainsville. The McCurdy Law Firm is located at 17326 Alabama Highway 75 in Henniger to better represent his Jackson and DeKalb County clients. If you need to be represented by a true public servant with proven success, call Jeff at 256 256- 996-8701 or send a private email to McCurdyLawFirm at gmail.com. No representation is made that the legal services performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers.
At Liberty Bank, we're all about community. Whether it's to help with a charity fundraiser or help families in need, towards a Christmas or a local football team, we're here for you. You see, we realize the importance of family. Sometimes it's to build a new home or necessary home repairs. We're here for you. If you like the feel of a small town bank with all the conveniences of a big city bank, we're here to serve you. You will find us at any of our convenient locations in DeKalb, Marshall, Etowah, and Blount Counties in North Alabama. You can call and speak with any of our friendly staff at 256-659-2175 or check us out on the web at libertybankal.com. And thank you for your support of our community. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. The only place I buy my beef is Lone Tree Ranch in Collinsville, Alabama. Their cattle is born and raised on their ranch, grass and grain fed, and you can feel confident when you serve your family and friends because their beef is all natural and no antibiotics or hormones are added. You can buy whole beef or perhaps go in with family or friends and buy half. Their customer service is number one as they take care of the delivery to their local processor and can deliver to your home for a small added fee. They also offer herd replacement heifers. I always call Lone Tree Ranch in Collinsville, Alabama for my beef specialty recipes and cookouts, and you can too. Food shortages are increasing, so buy local by calling 256-523-6462. That's 256-523-6462. Okay, we are back. My name is Donna Fiesel, and I am your host of The Edge on IC Radio. We're your source for news and entertainment. You can also find us on television, channel 182. We're syndicated, 182, on Charter Communications, which is in North Alabama. You can also find us on television. Again, we're syndicated with Abundant TV, which is found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. We're talking about the many benefits of castor oil. And this is my brand that I love to use. It's um, it's not oily. I mean, it's just a really good brand. It's oily, but what I mean is it gets down into your skin. And this is Castor Oil 217. That's just the name of it, 217. And you'll find that down at the bottom of your skin. They got it on sale on Amazon for the big bottle, the 8 ounce bottle bottle is $9.99 and I promise you this four ounce bottle that I have right here is lasting me a long time because you use such a small amount of it. We've been talking about the many benefits, skin care and um, taking it inside and outside your body but let's talk about the how to minimize the appearance of scars. That's important as well. Castor oil is great for reducing and preventing the appearance of scars. The many fatty tissues and um, acids found in the oil have stimulate the system in the body, which is essential for preventing scars. While it can eliminate scars that you already have, it can reduce their appearance. I don't know about you, I'm okay with having scars. It just shows that I have some experience. But if you want to get rid of them and minimize that, you can. Okay, now this is one everybody complains about, okay, is cracked heels. Everybody, especially in the summertime, you run them around barefoot, you know, and uh, and then you come inside. You got to make sure you take care of those dry, cracked heels. Castor oil has the ability to hydrate the skin, making the perfect remedy for treating cracked heels. It's rich in vitamins and essential nu- nutrients help to hydrate dry, cracked skin. This is all you do. You want to simply rub castor oil on your feet, put on a pair of socks, and leave it on overnight. You'll notice a dramatic difference. But let me tell you something I like to do. Give yourself a little spa treatment. And so what you can do is soak your feet in salt water. You can use Epsom salts or whatever you have on hand. Soak your feet for a few minutes, dry them off, and then you can use like a fingernail file or some sandpaper and sloth off the, the dead parts of the skin on your feet. Then do this. Go ahead and put a little castor oil on your feet, put on some socks, and let it be overnight. (sighs) Feels so good to your feet. That's an awesome thing to do. Okay, number 12, induce labor. 
It says castor oil helps induce labor. When taken orally, make sure that you listen to what your doctor says, okay? It could depend on your body, okay, on how well this works. When taken orally, castor oil works to stimulate the bowels. Castor oil tends to irritate the uterus, which causes contractions to begin. Make sure you talk with your doctor on the proper amount, okay? Don't do this without the advice of your doctor. Relief sunburn. <laughs> It does me no good to get out into the sun because you know what happens? I get sunburned and then when that's healed up, I'm just as pale as I was before I got out there. But this does release that, that hurt on sunburn. With the same cooling sensation as aloe, castor oil is a great for alleviating painful sunburns. Now the acid in this, this awesome, awesome stuff right here will protect any blisters that may pop from um, becoming infected and reduce the inflammation associated with sunburns. I'll tell you what, that hurts. And those blisters come up there. Don't pop them, by the way. Let the castor oil do the work for you. I'm going to do this one. Castor oil for thicker eyebrows. As you get older, your eyebrows, in some, some cases, will get thinner, and mine have. So I'm just going ahead and talk about doing this. Castor oil has been proven to be an effective way to grow and strengthen your hair. But did you know it can also work to thicken your eyebrows? The antioxidants, proteins, vitamins, fatty acids, and nutrients it contains all work to nurture the hair follicles and fight against bacteria that may be a factor that hinders the growth. Um, and let me tell you what you need to do, though. You need to make sure you clean all of your makeup off. Use a brush to make sure you got any eye makeup and that kind of thing off of your eyebrows. By the way, makeup has a tendency to kind of like slide down, especially if you have oily skin like I do. Um, so anyway, make sure that all that is marked off. And then to stimulate your eyebrows, get a little brush, just like an old toothbrush or something. And just brush your eyebrows, just kind of back and forth notion, motions, and then put the, just a little bit now, castor oil on your brows. And just put it on using this finger or this the ring finger, okay? Only those two. Okay, lengthen eyelashes with castor oil. I'm going to try this one too. Um, the vitamin E, proteins, minerals, and antibacterial properties of castor oil can help strengthen and lengthen your eyelashes when applied on a regular basis. you got to make a habit of it. It penetrates deep into the skin when applied to the area, moisturizing and refreshing the area to help the eyelashes grow thicker and prevents them from breaking. If you have an old uh, mascara brush, an old mascara one, make sure you've cleaned all the mascara off of it. Set it in vinegar and that vinegar is going to clean every last trace of mascara out. Use that. I think that would be better because you'll be applying it in lighter stages there instead of clumpy like so that that would be a I, I would suggest you do that remove moles and skin tags when mixed with a little baking soda castor oil can be an excellent way to get rid of unsightly moles and skin tags you simply have to apply the paste to the affected area and cover it with a bandage now doing this daily for four to six weeks will eliminate the moles and the skin tags i've got one that's right here so I'll, I'll keep you, I'll take some pictures and we'll do a progress report and we'll talk about that as well. Soften cuticles, talked about that, and brittle nails. Castor oil has a high concentration of vitamin E. Most folks didn't know that. I didn't until I started kind of getting into castor oil and what it was about. It works wonders for brittle dry nails. Massaging it into your nails and cuticles every evening will result in soft cuticles and healthy looking nails. They'll be shinier. Okay, now this is a really good recipe. It's called Fern Invigoration Recipe. You'll need about four cups of warm water, one tablespoon of castor oil, and a small drop of baby shampoo. Hmm, that's pretty good. This is for perking up your ferns. Castor oil has many uses, but did you know you can use it to liven up your ferns? The high amount of minerals and vitamins will do wonder if your ferns looking healthy. So you can combine, combine the warm water, castor oil, baby shampoo, and add several drops of the mixture to the soil. Follow it up with regular watering, and within a couple of days, your ferns are going to be perky again. And I'll give you that recipe again. Okay, it's warm water. You need about four cups, not hot now, but warm water. 
one tablespoon of castor oil, one small drop of baby shampoo, and that's going to do it. Repel moles in the yard. Oh, boy, am I interested in this one. Okay, if you have trouble with moles trashing your yard, castor oil could be just what you need to send them on their way down the road. Okay, the solution won't kill the moles. It'll make it unpleasant enough that they'll find another place to dig. <laughs> castor oil benefits. Castor oil is widely known to be a natural remedy for constipation, but it also can be used to benefit your hair, skin, and face. Scientists have and doctors have believed that the high concentration of the unsaturated fatty acids that are present in castor oil are the reason for its incredible health benefits. Okay, let's talk about some of those benefits. Okay, we talked about some of it, but when you're having an issue with your body, we need to take care of it. Okay, support the lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is responsible for expelling metabolic waste from your body. So when you have drainage problems or flow disruptions, castor oil can help get things moving again. Applying castor oil packs to your lymph nodes allow your body to absorb the oil quickly. Okay, reduces skin inflammation. We talked a bit about using it on your face. And castor oil has a strong antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties that help to heal bug bites, rashes, and itches. To relieve skin inflammation with a small area on the skin, simply soak a bandage with castor oil and apply it to the affected area. For larger areas, soak a cotton ball in castor oil and apply it to the affected area. Rinse it off after about an hour, repeating several times throughout the day. So I'm wondering, because we're talking about bug bites, rashes, and, and itches. Um, now I have honeybees. I've been bit once, it's because I didn't take the outfit off and it got kind of hung into my, into my suit. I'd rather just not wear one and go take care of the bees. But we have a lot of hornets and we have these just horrible mosquitoes and stuff like that. So make sure you keep some of this handy. Again, just a little bit for the kiddos, okay? Because they go out there and they play outside and they get into stuff. So this, again, it's um, bug bites, rashes, and itches. I wonder how that would work on poison oak. I will get it again this year. I get it every single year. I'm like a magnet to poison oak. I'll keep you updated on that too. So if I get poison oak, I'll use some of this and then we'll talk about it. Rinse it off and then repeat it several times throughout the day, okay? Fights toenail fungus. Okay, the undecilentic acid found in castor oil is an active ingredient that is great for relieving fungus in the body. To treat toenail fungus, soak your feet in warm water and Epsom salt for five minutes. Again, you're using natural products, okay? And then here's a recipe for liberally applying the castor oil to the affected toenail. Okay, so here's the recipe. You want one tablespoon of castor oil, one teaspoon of glycerin, and then you want uh, several drops of lemon juice. The real lemon I found has been the best. You can find that also at Amazon.com. So you'll mix this ingredient. Let's go over this again. To treat the toenail fungus, you soak your feet in warm water and Epsom salts for five minutes. And then what you'll do, make sure you dry your feet off really well, and then apply the soak by liberally applying the castor oil to the affected toenail. And again, that's um, um, a spoon of castor oil, another spoon of glycerin, and some lemon juice. Okay, hydrates chapped lips. The fatty acids found in castor oil help to hydrate and moisten dry, chapped lips. Apply the castor oil to your lips several times a day to hydrate and moisturize. You can also create a soothing topical treatment by mixing castor oil, glycerin, and lemon juice. Apply before bed to hydrate chapped lips. Okay, um, relieve symptoms of migraines. A natural pain reliever, castor oil is great for relieving headaches and migraines. To help relieve symptoms of migraines and headaches, what you'll do is rub a teaspoon of oil onto your forehead for just about a minute. You should start feeling the effects within two to three minutes. You know, um, doctors have been actually requesting this for years, and that's applying topical agents 
to, if you got a headache or whatever, instead of ingesting something, just rub something like castor oil right here. Um, let's say if it's, and usually I get a headache, which is rare, but if I do get one, it's usually right in the temples. And it's usually because I've been outside too much and I've been playing around with the bees and I have pollen getting into my lungs. And uh, so that's usually what causes mine. So I'm going to try that next time. Reduces menstrual cramps. Massaging warm castor oil over your abdomen can be an excellent way to, to relieve the symptoms of menstrual cramps and period pain. Uh, now, the risulnolic acid in castor oil works as an anti-inflammatory and also helps to relieve the pain. Now, castor oil packs are perfect for relieving menstrual cramps. Soothe mouth sores. The antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties of castor oil make it the perfect natural remedy for treating mouth sores. To address the sores in the mouth, apply a small amount of castor oil or peppermint oil to the area. After several minutes, rinse your mouth out with water and repeat several times throughout the day. Um, the peppermint oil reminded me um, of my son. I told him once about it because he used to get headaches a lot. And I would say, son, just instead of taking aspirins and all this stuff, just get a little peppermint oil and put that into your temples. And he, he does that. And if he does get a headache now, and it's usually this time of the year he gets it. And uh, so he'll put the peppermint oil. And he, and he lives by that. He buys, and it's got to be oil now, not a, not a flavoring or, um, or a, a, a kind of a, you know, like candles use. It, it's got to be the oil from the peppermint leaf okay relieve insomnia if you suffer from insomnia castor oil can help you fall asleep instead of taking harmful and sometimes habit forming medication to help you insomnia just rub castor oil along your eyelids before going to bed your body absorbs the oil and promotes healthy circulation helping you to become more relaxed also inducing to help you sleep. Hmm. I'm going to remind. I'm going to do this one again. Rub castor oil along your eyelids before going to bed. Hmm. Sounds good. Okay, number 29. I promise we're going to get this done. Eliminate. We're going to get through all of them. I promise. Okay. Uh, eliminate corns. Corns on your feet can be painful and irritating. Oh, I remember when I used to wear high heels all the time. And I'd be going on um, seeing my clients. You know, when I used to work with GTE, I handled the government and corporate clients that always wear high heels. Man, did that hurt. The hydrating abilities of castor oil can help to remove these corns. To treat corns, soak your feet in warm water for about 15 minutes. Dry your feet. Apply castor oil to the corn. After about 10 days of treatment, you should be able to peel the corns away easily. 10 days, okay? Put that on your calendar. Antifungal properties. Castor oil contains biochemical agent, which is used to stop fungal growth. This acid helps make the natural remedy ideal for numerous types of fungal infections, including yeast infections, athlete's foot, and ringworm. So you'll mix with coconut oil and apply it to the affected area and leave on overnight until the fungus heals. Okay, regular castor oil versus Jamaican black castor oil. I've been wondering about this too, so we got this article. Again, this is found one agorahealth.com. O-N-E-A-G-O-R-A health.com. We're talking about castor oil. Now, users believe Jamaican black castor oil to be one of the most potent, potent mixtures you can get. The increased potency that the Jamaican castor oil offers is a result of how they process it. Let's talk about that. Unlike regular castor oil, this Jamaican black castor oil is, producing by, is produced by roasting and grinding the organic seeds manually before being boiled to extract 100% dark oil. Now, cooking the beans for an extended amount of time results in an increased production of ash content. So when castor oil contains a high concentration of ash, it's believed to be more efficient because the ash increases the potency of the oil. The darker the oil appears, the more ash it contains. Okay, so, and you can also buy the Jamaican black oil. If you would rather have the Jamaican black castor oil, you can find that also at Amazon.com. 
Okay, how is castor oil made? We all want to know about that. Okay, castor oil becomes, it comes from pressing the seeds of the Renesis um, castor oil plant. The plant is highly toxic and contains proteins and ricin. To make castor oil, take the beans from the castor oil plant and you roast them. Then you press the beans to release the oil. Please be advised that due to its high toxicity, making castor oil at home is not recommended. I'd rather go to Amazon and get this oil right here. It's worth paying $9.99 for something twice this size. I'm just telling you. Okay, there's a huge process to making your own. This is 100% natural. That's why I definitely say you need to get Castor 217. Okay, and that link that you see right down below me gets you right to the product. Okay, so how is it made? We talked about that. What are the side effects of castor oil? Everything has a side effect, really. It does. Castor oil is a natural remedy. It's been deemed safe to use in limited amounts. Limited, that doesn't mean drink the whole bottle. You can overdo anything. However, you may still experience some mild to moderate symptoms if you take too much of it or you consume it for an extended period. Before applying a significant amount of castor oil to your skin or ingesting it, determine if you're allergic to it by conducting a patch test. So you'll place a small amount of castor oil on your far forearm and just let it sit there for 24 hours. If you have any reaction, even if it's a slight redness or itching, avoid using castor oil for any reason. Okay, so do a test amount first. By the way, what I like about Amazon is they have a great return policy. So if it's not working out, you just return it. You'll get all your money back. Now, before applying a significant amount of castor oil to your skin or ingesting it, determine if you're allergic to it by conducting that patch test. We talked about that. Again, just a small amount on the forearm and let it sit for 24 hours. Now, when taking castor oil, it's important to exercise caution. So if you take too much castor oil, it could re result in an overdose or poisoning, which could lead to a more serious health complication. Just go by what you see in this article. You can Google this. Just Google castor oil and the benefits of castor oil, and you'll find that as well. Okay, now when used orally, um, this will help you with dizziness, abdomen, abdominal, abdominal cramps. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Diarrhea, nausea, electrotite, electrolyte disturbance, low blood pressure pelvic congestion. Now when you use it topically, it's good for itchiness, skin inflammation, uncomfortable rash, stinging sensation, swelling in the face and throat, difficulty breathing. Now here are some, if I've got time, yeah I've got time, so uh, additional castor oil recipes, oil cleansing method recipes. So here's what you can use, castor oil to care for your skin, whether you have oily combination or dry skin. Castor oil is a useful treatment. So, for oily skin recipe, castor oil, you will need three tablespoons. Sunflower or vegetable oil, you need seven tablespoons. Okay, for oily skin can be a problem for a couple of reasons. First problem is that oily skin can give your face a shiny appearance. You can see that right now. Um, which others may view as unattractive. Additionally, your your face will be oily to the touch. Now, the second problem is that the oil in your face can clog your pores. When your pores are clogged, you start forming acne, which gives your skin an unattractive appearance at best and causes permanent scarring at worst. Okay, now, castor oil for combination skin. You need to know what your skin type is. Um, and I still, if you do this, and you're all your makeup off and you've cleansed your skin and you just around the nose area is where you're going to find it's more prominent and up in the forehead area and if you feel kind of a greasy like feel you got oily skin okay now combination skin when you have combination skin it means your your face is dry in some areas and oily in others okay many people have combination skin you've heard it called the t-zone for a reason so named because the area looks like a t it's the central part of the forehead consisting of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And the T-zone is where the skin tends to be oily. The cheeks and area under the eyes might be dry or even flaky. I'm totally oily. <laughs> I got totally oily skin. 
Okay, now dry skin. Okay, and by the way, um, for combination skin, that is two tablespoons of castor oil and then eight tablespoons of either sunflower or extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and we saw on the oily skin, castor oil would be three tablespoons, mix that with sunflower or extra virgin olive oil, that's seven tablespoons. Okay, now dry skin. That combination recipe is one tablespoon of castor oil and nine tablespoons of sunflower or extra virgin olive oil. Scaling, itchiness, and cracking characterize dry skin. So in general, you're more likely to experience dry skin in the fall or the winter months when the air is drier. You might also experience it as you get older as your body produces less oil. More specifically, there are a few lifestyle changes available when you're experiencing dry skin. Now, when you shower, use warm water rather than hot, as hot water reduces the amount of oil on your skin. Now, after showering, pat the dry skin rather than rub it with your towel. Consider showering every other day instead of every day. Use soap with moisturizing properties and apply oil also with moisturizing properties as soon as you get out of the shower. I've got a minute left so I want to talk to you about this hair serum recipe. Okay, um, castor oil you need three tablespoons argan oil one tablespoon or jojoba oil and then one half of a lemon the lemon juice oil. As mentioned, castor oil is fantastic for promoting hair growth. Even if you're not looking to promote hair growth, it makes an excellent substitute for hair conditioners. Castor oil also possesses the, a variety of antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties, meaning it treats dandruff. Its heaviness helps tame frizzy hair and split ends, and its moisture richness penetrates your hair and promotes a beautiful shine. So if you will use this, you're going to be very, very happy. Go check out this website, O-N-E-A-G-O-R-A health.com. And make sure you click that link down there and get a special price on at Amazon for 217 Castor. Again, I really love this for skin care and for my hair. And it's not going to leave your hair feeling heavy. You saw I put that on during the first part of the show. So, thank you so much for watching. My name is Donna Fiesel. I'm your host of The Edge on IEC Radio. We are syndicated. You can find us on television, channel 182 on Charter Communications, as well as Abundant TV, found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Thank you so much for watching. Begin a great year and save big money with these specials at Albertville Foodland Plus. A five-pound bag of red or gold potatoes, only $2.99 each. Warm up with Campbell's Chunky Soup, two for $4. Slim down with gold salads, only $2.99 each. And make sure to check out the deli with fresh veggies and tasty pork chops or hand-battered chicken fingers, only $5.99. Check us out on the web at shop.com. Foodlandgrocery.com Are you ready? We all wonder what tomorrow will bring, but the future lays itself at the feet of the prepared and surrenders to the will of the persistent. It's not easy, but today shapes you so you can shape tomorrow. With Northeast Alabama Community College, when the future asks if you're ready, you can answer. Yes. Begin your future at Northeast Alabama Community College. The Hatter Cafe and Country Inn is nestled in the northeast corner of Alabama the Beautiful in the delightful town of Mentone. We're located on top of scenic Lookout Mountain near Little River and DeSoto State Park and located only five minutes from shopping and restaurants. There is also a nearby community walking path and golf course. We welcome everyone through the doors and we are committed to outstanding service for all guests. At the Hatter Cafe and Country Inn, we invite people from all walks of life to come and get away from it all, enjoy the open spaces, treetop views, fresh, clean air, and experience Southern hospitality at its finest. We look forward to hosting you. To reserve a special event, or if you would love a special getaway at the Country Inn, you can call us at 256-634-2018.